In this video we will show how the integration between OpenKM and SharePoint works to efficiently manage and synchronize documents. We begin by reviewing both systems. OpenKM and SharePoint We have created a site called OpenKM, and it contains a library. This is where we will upload files from OpenKM. In the local file explorer, we have a test file, our Word document. We are going to open it to verify its content and then close it. Now we upload this Word document to OpenKM. To transfer the document to SharePoint from OpenKM, we go to the Document Properties panel, access the Metadata tab, and assign the SharePoint Metadata group. This group has three fields, including a switch to upload or download the document using unique identifiers. We activate the switch, and the document is automatically uploaded to SharePoint. Once completed, we receive an ID and a direct link to access the file in SharePoint. We then access SharePoint and verify that the document has been successfully added. Next, we edit the document directly in SharePoint and save the changes. This edit is performed to verify the audit and version control in both systems. Back in OpenKM, we observe that the document is shown as locked, meaning no user can modify it while it is being edited in SharePoint. We modify the document's metadata, and we turned off the switch in the share field. Now, the document is unlocked and uploaded back to OpenKM. A notification appears in OpenKM indicating that the document has been edited in SharePoint. If we refresh the view, we will notice that the document has been removed. This is a configurable behavior within the integration. Next, we access OpenKM and verify that a newly edited version of the document is now available. From here, we can download the updated document and edit it directly in its native application, Microsoft Word. This has been an example of the integration between OpenKM and SharePoint. For more information or any questions, feel free to contact us through our website form or via social media.